Season 17, aka Season of the Haunted, is here after what felt like an incredibly short, but actually normal duration, Season of the Risen. Let's go over the seasonal gameplay loop. No opinions or thoughts just yet, I'm gonna save that for the first impressions video as usual, and the same with Solar 3.0, that is gonna be its own video. The Leviathan is back as a patrol space on the moon, technically speaking, and you'll be able to freely explore what is available of it, which is mainly the Castellum, the Royal Baths, and the Pleasure Gardens. You do find your way into Callus's main boss room area during the intro mission, and you'll eventually go to the Gauntlet for a story mission, among other areas on the ship. But the first three rooms I mentioned earlier are the majority of the patrol space, at least as of right now. In this patrol space is the seasonal activity, Nightmare Containment, which essentially boils down to killing a lot of dudes and completing the objectives as they pop up, in which said objectives tend to be not much more than killing specific targets or shooting resonant splinters to remove the shields of specific targets and then killing them. You'll hop from section to section, completing containments, eventually pushing to higher and higher tiers, up to tier 3, again, as of this video. During this encounter, you'll have the ability to spawn the Scythe by depositing a Core of Dread. These cores drop from the big boy targets, usually indicated by the word Dread being in their name. They're pretty easy to spot, you'll see what I mean when you're there. Grab a Core, deposit it at the staff thing, and it's going to spawn in. The Scythe can do a four light attack combo, which triggers Scorch and Ignite, keywords for Solar 3.0. If you hit a target four times in a row, they will ignite and you'll hit them for a bunch of extra damage. You also have a heavy attack ground slam. Now the main currency for the season are Vestiges of Dread, which are obtained from killing stuff, opening chests and doing patrols in the Leviathan, or completing activities. The cap for them is 2,500 until you get an upgrade later in the season. You'll spend 500 of these at the end of a tier 3 nightmare containment for some rewards like opulent umbral energy, weapons, armor, and on rarer occasion, ascendant alloy. I cannot emphasize this enough. Vestiges are an inventory item. You need a slot in your inventory. Do not make the same mistake I did when starting out. Make sure you have a spot in your inventory. Sometimes as well, you will get a Bound Presence. You can use this item at the end of a Sever mission to get additional rewards. Opulent Umbral Energy is like Risen Umbral Energy from last season. It's the currency you use to focus engrams at the helm. But this time, it's for Season 17 stuff. Not Season 16, you get it. You'll also come across Opulent Keys at some point, which are used to open chests around the Leviathan. The key that you have will give you a hint as to where it is located, hint being a very generous word for basically exactly where the chest is. Sever is the other seasonal activity, which are story missions on board the Leviathan. There will be six of them, at least according to the Triumphs. I don't recall there being anything special about the missions in terms of needing to know very specific things. It's not like Shattered Realm or anything like that where there's an exploration factor and a ton of collectibles. It's pretty much just go through and enjoy the mission and enjoy the story content with some very minor puzzle solving. There are some things to find within these missions as well. Hidden bobbleheads, probably one per mission, and broken down callous robots, definitely one per mission that I'm sure someone already has a guide for, despite only one of the missions even being out. I would try to make sure you have a bound presence on hand before doing a run of Sever to maximize your time, as you'll want to crack open the chest at the end for bonus rewards. Another currency is the Figment of Darkness, which is mainly earned via seasonal challenges and in the reputation track. Just when I thought we were getting away from the big upgrade grids, boom, 6x3 grid in our face. We have channeling, reaping, and manifesting sections, with each one of these sections corresponding to a certain thing. Channeling gets you bonuses on your rewards, reaping boosts your vestige gains, and manifesting is for focusing your umbral engrams. 
I personally am choosing to target reaping first to make sure I never have issues with having vestiges. Focusing engrams is something I usually end up doing later in a season, especially considering you need to acquire the item before you're able to focus it via engram. If you want to do something else, that's totally fine, as the end goal is eventually to get all of them. With regards to gaining reputation, it is driven by seasonal challenges, nightmare containment, and opening sever chests, as it says on the screen underneath the track. When it comes to leveling, it is the same as it always has been. Nothing has changed there at all. The new pinnacle cap is 1570, and the new power cap is 1560. That is increased by 10 from last season. If you are at 1560 or above, not including artifact levels, Pinnacles will be the only thing to level you up. Otherwise, do Powerfuls and Pinnacles until you hit 1560, etc, etc. You probably know the deal by now. If you want more specific advice on leveling, check out my How to Level to 1560 video from last season, as the premise is the exact same, except the levels are just 10 higher. One thing to note is that the Raid and Dungeon Rotator is now live, where a Raid and a Dungeon will be awarding a Pinnacle Drop for the final boss of that Raid or Dungeon. For example, this first week has Last Wish and Shattered Throne as the bonus Pinnacle Raid and Dungeon. But again, it's only for the final boss, so I suspect people will be yoinking some checkpoints to skip to the final boss for a Throne, and using the Wish Wall to get to Riven immediately. Nice little bonus Pinnacle either way. That is your Season 17 How It All Works video. Pretty short. If you ever need a refresher in-game, Bungie has placed tons of tutorials and text blocks in-game to explain everything from the flow of the season to descriptions on all of the items that I have talked about today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.